Welcome to the King of the Nerds After Show. I'm your host, Edward Crane. So, Nirvana, ah, so Nirvana has opened up to 11 nerds. And honestly, I thought the new Nirvana was pretty cool. I mean, it looked like an awesome playpen for all the nerds, especially the Radio Shack room with the TARDIS, which is badass. Let me just say that, it's like, it's so nerdy, but it's so cool. Uh, give anything to be in there. <laughs> There's a few that speak out to me, and um, Nicole is one because she tried to make strategic moves off the back, which is always a good thing in a game like this. Also, I gotta give it to my man Jay Wiz because I um, watch his channel a lot. And I was so excited to know that he was on the show. So I hope he wins. I'm rooting for him. He's one of the people I'm rooting for. Um, Zach, he seems... He's creepy. Um, but from what we've seen so far, this episode, he has not pissed anyone off. So, because we've all seen in the promos, he's like this yelling, raging psychopath. Well, it happened. At least there will be drama on the show. It's one thing we didn't see much of this um, episode. We didn't see that much drama, but all the same, I love the episode. When they picked the teams, it was pretty cool. I mean, like, it had a lot of twists and turns and turns and twists. It's like... It's like one of these things, as many twists and turns as this. Yeah, I still haven't solved this damn maze, globe, thing. <clears throat> I think the team picking thing, it was really cool. I loved how, like, it twists, I loved how it turned. It was really entertaining to watch, and I really didn't know what was going to happen. And, um, I'm usually pretty good at picking out these kind of stuffs, so it was crazy to watch that. I felt bad that Kelsey was the one left out, and then when I was like, oh, there's going to be some twists, and then, yay, she's okay, but then, oh no, the huge twist, and then Nicole went, and I was like, oh, a bit of a shame, and then another twist, like, so many twists. It's like Inception all over again. <clears throat> team minus touch attack. It looks like they're going to be a good team. They seem pretty in unison right now. And uh, hopefully they will get their stuff together. And when Zack goes all ballistic. Uh, hopefully, since it's Jay Woods' team, that's the team I'm looking for. And hopefully that... Like, they win many challenges, and hopefully he gets to. Not that <clears throat> I'm not rooting for the purple team, but I'm biased. Times of the gal. <clears throat> it was pretty good intro, and it looks like they have a pretty good pull, like a pretty good team, except, like, they kind of overkilled on the science stuff. It's, it was their decision, and it might help out in the long run, because from what we've seen through commercials, this is more of a... This season is going to be more nerdy, and it will include more science stuff, which we really didn't see the first season, except for one challenge. So, this could be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, it'll be an interesting season to see how the challenges go. Speaking of challenges, the nerd off. As a huge Harry Potter fan, I just was like, yay, nerdage, Harry Potter themed, nerd off. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Expecto Patrona! Yeah, huge Harry Potter fan. It was a pretty cool challenge. It, like, kind of incorporated how you had to like throwing the quaffle in one of the three hoops except for cauldrons. 
So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, luckily no one got killed by a bludger, but it was pretty close. I mean, I really thought that Chris was going home um, because of the fantasy disadvantages, but if King of Nerds tells us anything, experts in nerd offs, they usually go ah. eliminate. I mean, seeing Kelsey go, I mean, because I'm the kind of person that's doing this type of thing, I kind of look at the teams ahead of time, you know, I like try and figure out and see things. Let me tell you, I didn't think uh, Kelsey would get far, but I didn't think she'd be first out. I, like, from the video, yeah, she seemed quirky, but when in the show she was like quirky and it was kind of adorable how she was and like it was sad to see her go I think she would have been an awesome like person to watch but this is a game and she lost now is that time of the show where we will X out the contestant um, Kelsey pretty cool well, Kelsey, you were pretty cool. I was hoping you would be farther in the game, but unfortunately that's not how it went. But you are a quirky, awesome person. Don't you forget that. And quirky is a good thing. <laughs> so now it's time to X her out. From some little crow. Okay, <clears throat> so who I'm rooting for, I kind of mentioned it earlier in the video that I was rooting for Jay Witz. So who I'm rooting for this season, obviously Jay Witz, because I watched him on YouTube, I'm watching him on here, so it's a good and I'll be watching him. Uh, also, Katie, because she obvious fan favorite, and I think she may get far. She's in a way like the Ivan of this season who will be pretty cool to watch and I think she um like I said gonna be a favorite also Nicole because she made pretty big strategic move one that almost that could have cost her the game if it wasn't for that extra twist but I applaud her for doing it big moves better season um, also, I think Mary Kate has something up her sleeve. Um, from her video, she was gonna be like um, a sequel and all, but we'll find out when uh, Midas Touch Attack loses. Hopefully, that won't be for a while because Jay waits for the win. <laughs> That's a wrap. This is my first ever after show. Sorry if it's uh, not too good, but I'm trying. I'm doing what I love, which is making. Let's talk about shows like this because I love games of elimination. Anyway, leave your comments in. <coughs> anyway, leave your comments in the comments section below. Like, subscribe, uh, and be sure to comment. And next week we'll have like a top three comments or whatever. See you next time. <laughs>